I want to suggest five ways generally about coping with anxiety that people could try. And there's other ways than this. And, you know, I think it's just a case of finding one that works for you. Um, maybe trying a few different ones. And there's lots of guidance on the internet now about ways of coping with anxiety um, from all kinds of websites. Um, so here's five ways that people could try. I mean, the first thing that you could try is just to try some relaxation exercises. And there's two really famous ways to do this. One is called progressive muscular relaxation, where you tense up one muscle group at a time, you hold it for a period, you know, 10 or 15 seconds, and you let it go. And you do that for all the muscle groups in the body. And another really famous way of relaxation is called guided imagery, where you might have, um, you might listen to a guided, oh, I suppose it's almost a guided fantasy, really. It might be imagining you in a place where it is, is beautiful, imagining yourself on a beach, maybe it's calm, you're alone there, the sun is shining, etc. And you can actually find a lot of these relaxation, uh, guided relaxations on YouTube. So that's, I think, a really good place to look for relaxation exercises. And that could, I think, take the edge off the anxiety for a lot of people. And it's not going to turn anxiety into joy, but that's not, that's not life, I suppose. But it could take, really take the edge off the anxiety, enable a person to focus on enjoying the rest of their weekend. So that's relaxation exercises. The first, the second thing I want to su suggest is, I think uh, a lot of research shows that uh, many of our problems in life, or at least the moments when they're most unhappy in the absence of a really obvious problem situation is when we're focused on the past or we're focused on negative things in the future that may or may not happen. So when our attention is most focused on the right now, the present moment, that seems to be when we're most happy. Now, but actually really interesting TED talk about that um, on the internet and research, scientific research has demonstrated some of these facts. And, and I think one of the best ways to keep the focus on the present moment is, I'm sure you've all heard about this before, mindfulness meditation. And what mindfulness means is, and I, I know it's a fancy term, but it really means keeping the focus on the present moment not judging it, just accepting being right here in the right now. And when you get thoughts about the future or about the past, letting them come in and then just letting them flow out again and not pursuing them kind of down a rabbit hole. And the way that's developed usually is through mindfulness meditations. And I'm sure many of our readers have heard about those. There's really lots of sources you can learn that. And, you know, there's the Headspace app, lots of resources on sites like YouTube, lots of books about it that you can find in almost any bookstore. And it takes time to develop that. So that's not gonna come immediately. Although you can try guided mindfulness meditations on sites like YouTube, which you might find helpful um, and can at the very least be relaxing. But I think if readers can develop a regular meditation and really it's exercise for the powers of attention, that's what meditation is, it's exercise, but not for your body, it's for your powers of attention. And over time, you're more able to keep that focus on the right now. So that's the second thing I would suggest. And I think a lot of your readers would find that really helpful. And a lot of research has shown that's very helpful in managing all kinds of mental health uh, issues. Um, thirdly, I would just think about the worry, which are the thoughts that come through a person's mind. Um, so it's really easy when thoughts come in about what you need to do, what might happen or might not happen to kind of pursue them and you end up going down a rabbit hole of well this might happen that might happen and you get kind of lost in this train of um, anxious thoughts uh, kind of worrying I think it's really important to try to not pursue those just let an anxious thought come into your mind and then just don't pursue it if you can think of an immediate strategy for something you can do on Monday that the, the anxious thought has you know, clued you into that's useful but there's no point pursuing it I think a lot of people believe if they worry about things, they will get answers which otherwise they wouldn't. And in some cases that might be true, but actually usually it's not true. You probably would find the answers anyway on Monday morning. Um, so rather than keeping, you know, focusing on those thoughts, maybe just trying something distracting would be useful. Something which you enjoy, which is going to keep your attention and focus on that. And it, you will have the, the thoughts will come in anyway, but just let them come in and let them go out again. So distracting yourself from those sorts of enjoyable activities could be useful. And the fourth thing I want to talk about is again about thoughts. And it's about the kind of thoughts we can control, which we might think of as self-talk. So we've got this kind of internal monologue in our heads, haven't we? You know, uh, we kind of talk to ourselves all the time. Actually, much of the time we talk to ourselves in quite negative terms. 
what if we could shift that around, take control of that monologue and tell ourselves things which would make us feel better? And that's a technique which is used a lot. So for example, athletes will use that in the pressure of a competition situation. They'll use positive self-talk. So when you're kind of worrying about or anxious about work, you might think of positive self-talk, which reminds you that you have dealt with these situations many times before because you've been in that job a while and that you are capable of doing so again. Um, so you might remind yourself that you've handled challenging work situations before, that you're a skilled professional and you're able to do so again. And just in, really indoctrinating yourself with that because we often indoctrinate ourselves with things that are negative, aren't we? And actually they're often not true. So why not indoctrinate ourselves with something which is more positive and is true, which is that we've handled those challenging work situations effectively many times before, and that we'll do so again on Monday. Um, and then I guess the final thing I want to talk about still on the, the topic of thoughts is just to, to ask oneself, you know, um, what's the worst that could happen? You know, if you, if you miss that deadline, is it the end of the world? You know, if, uh, if the lecture you're giving on Monday isn't perfect, is it the end of the world? If there's something you forget to do, what's the worst that could happen? You'll probably just be able to do it later and it won't be that much of a big deal. And you might also think, will this matter five years from now? Because that's a good test. Because we often focus, don't we, on things that, you know, seem really important in the moment, in the moment, but in the grand scheme of things, maybe they're not. Maybe five years from now, that wouldn't really matter. And that thinking about that can kind of keep ourselves, I guess, grounded on what really matters. And so trying maybe one or two or combination of those things or others that a person is able to find um, could be something that just enables one to enjoy the weekend more. Because it's really important, I think, to get that full restoration from the rest, you know, not thinking about work, enjoying the weekend as much as possible, and maybe even scheduling you know, enjoyable things to do on that weekend so you do actually do the things that you find satisfying and rewarding and restful, rather than just kind of ending up doing things, just slumping in front of the TV, if that's not something that is the, the thing you really wanted to do at the weekend. So scheduling activities can help sometimes um, as well.